This video is brought to you by the Turtle Flakes Podcast. Turtle Flakes, the tasty breakfast treat that tastes just like pizza. Prepare to get shell-shocked. Cowabunga dudes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and welcome to another episode of Totally Tubular Turtle Tuesday, the one day of the week where I take a look at something TMNT related. So for this episode, I'll be taking a look at... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Vintage Collection, Ace Duck. Now, Ace Duck always had a soft spot in my heart as a kid. I think like most kids in the 90s, we just had an affliction for ducks. With things like Darkwing Duck and DuckTales and even the old Howard the Duck movie for someone like me, I absolutely loved these guys. Now Ace Duck had a really cool wingspan and pretty awesome weapons and I absolutely loved him. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's give you a quick rundown of all the radical things that he comes with. Now Ace Duck came with some pretty cool accessories. Starting off, he came with his Service 45 pistol, a weapons belt with egg grenades, plug-in wings, and his removable pilot's cap. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at Ace Duck. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Ace Duck. Now this guy is truly awesome. I always had a very soft spot, uh, soft spot in my heart uh, for this character. Um, I'm not sure what it was about him. I think he kind of just reminded me of that time in the 90s when we just had a lot of duck characters. You know, with things like a Darkwing Duck and DuckTales and things like that. Um, I always kind of pictured him kind of like in that universe, almost like a, a launch pad McQuack kind of thing, but a little more badass and a little more deadly because this dude straight up carried a pistol and grenades, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so I think that's what it was with Ace Duck. Uh, just a really cool character in my opinion. Now I do love the sculpt of this. It is pretty, it's, it's a lot simpler uh, than some of the other you know, when compared uh, to the other figures from the old vintage line, uh, but it's still very nice, and it works for, oops, excuse me, and it works for the character. Uh, so you got his uh, really cool head sculpt, you know, pretty nice when you got the white teeth in there. Uh, I don't know why a duck has big gritting teeth, but hey, it's what it is. Uh, looks really cool, big, big black eyes right there. If I can get my camera to focus. Uh, I think that looks pretty awesome, very nice. He even got the duck, uh, duck tail, a lot of greasers called it that from the back of the hair like that it was pretty awesome he's got his uh you know his uh pilot's jacket which looks really good nicely sculpting he got little badges and whatnot and some emblems on both sh uh, shoulders like so it looks pretty good and i love how like his fur almost kind of feels like chest hair which i think is pretty cool i, I like that quite a bit uh, i like how it's fitted it even has it's a uh, little fitting around like the waist and whatnot and around the wrist and things like that uh even his hands um they even look like they're made with feathers and whatnot which i think is pretty cool so pretty awesome he's got some blue jeans and whatnot that look very nice they even got the hemline like that going down it's pretty in cuffed and then he got his big awesome duck feet which looks pretty cool nice bright orange and you turn the figure around uh, and he actually has the Turtles logo on the back with the shell and whatnot. He even says Turtles right there, which is pretty awesome. I love this quite a bit. And you can see kind of his his actual ducktail butt kind of sticking out of the jeans, which I think is pretty awesome. I love that so much. And then we got the, the, what do you call it, the, the stamp right there, 1989 Mirage Studios Playmates Toys, which is pretty cool. One thing is, I always saw, noticed I was kind of different with this figure. Um, we actually got metal pins right here in the shoulder joints. Um, for some reason, I don't think we got that with too many figures from the vintage line, but that was something that was just always stood out to me that we have those metal pins right there in both shoulders as for, with, for the joints. So pretty interesting. So let's take a look at some of his accessories. Uh, we do get this belt right here, a strap uh, with the egg grenades, which I think is pretty cool. You got that. It's, it's like a military esque type of green, which looks really nice. And then you get four of these egg grenades. Which I always thought were pretty awesome. I think they should get my camera to focus. I know it's kind of hard to focus on these little white things right here, but pretty cool. 
and he can hold those in actually either hand. Uh, he does both both hands where you can hold them like so, or you can just hold them in the little strap uh, like I usually tend to do. Just put them in here, and they all hold in there pretty well. And it does have a little latch, just like so, with the little peg holes like so. Uh, so we can wrap that around like this, and then put it in the second hole. If I can get this, oh, actually, you know what? Put it in the third one. Can we do it? Let me see. Ah, it's a little tricky. Can I get it? There we go. I think it's in. There we go. That works. So then you can have like a little bandolier kind of going across his chest like that, uh, which I think works out pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. All right. So he also comes with his pistol, which again, this dude straight up comes with a Glock, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, again, this is guy is a little, you know, fairly deadly if you think about it. He just comes with a straight up pistol and grenades. Uh, which, which a lot of other characters came with some really wacky weapons, you know, lasers and things like that, and weird swords and whatnot. But this school, again, he keeps it real a pistol and grenades, which I think is pretty awesome. So he can hold that in either hand, really, but he holds it better in his uh, right hand because that one is a little shaped more like a trigger holding uh, finger, like that. So I think that works out a little better. Uh, he does come with also his cap. Now this cap is pretty cool, it's done in that same military green as, as other accessories. Um, and this just kind of just rests on there like that. Uh, I kind of wish it, it would fit a little more snug because it doesn't really hold onto into place. Um, so I mean, it falls off pretty easily as you can see. Um, I know, you know, even posing them around for the pictures at the end of the video. Every time I posed them around, this cap was just kind of flying off and moving around and things like that. So it's a little disappointing, but I mean, it still looks really cool when it's on him. So I think you would just get a little sticky tack, put some sticky tack in there, and then put it on like that, and then you can hold it on pretty good. So awesome. Uh, we also get his wings. Now his wings were really cool. Uh, something else again that just made this figure really stand out amongst a lot of the others from the vintage line. So you can see right there, they have a straight little peg right in the back, and we do get a peg hole right there, just above the turtle logo, and we could peg those into that back like so. So you get them like that, and again, very cool, and very nicely sculpted too. They did not hold back on the wings. You can see all the sculpted detail, all the line work, and each feather looks really nice. And it blends in very well with the same color as his, the rest of his feathers from his body. And these are articulated, so you can move these around just like that. So you can go straight across like that, like he's flying. You can bring him up a little more, almost more like angel type wings. And I just think that's a very cool look. Very awesome character. I love this again. The wings look great on him. I love the fact that he's a duck. Uh, but he's also a fighter pilot, which I think is very cool. Again, somewhat like um, um, Launchpad McQuack kind of thing, but again, way deadlier, which is really cool. Uh, again, one of my all-time favorites uh, from the vintage TMNT line. I always thought he was so cool. Definitely one of my favorite toys as a kid. Uh, probably definitely and probably in my top 10 uh, TMNT figures, vintage figures of all time. So if you could find him, I think you would absolutely love him for your vintage collections. Uh, he truly is a work of art in my opinion, as much of the figures are from the vintage line. So if you can find him, I think he is definitely a must get. And I'm back because I apparently forgot to take a look at the articulation with you guys, so my bad. So we're going to remove his gun here, uh, let's take off his hat, and we're going to actually leave on the wings because those kind of uh, are a part of the articulation. So the head is just on a straight up swivel peg, uh, you can rotate just left and right just like so. Uh, these arms are on like that weird hinge with that metal, metal pin so they can go up and down as well as out like that which was kind of rare uh, with these vintage figures because usually you're just going to get mostly up and down uh, and then you rotate at the wrist that goes for both arms so up and down and then out like so and rotate at the wrist and then we get their standard like ball like joints at the hips so those kind of like roll around kind of kick forward and up like that out to the side can kind of do the splits like so and then we get the articulation in the wings like that. So up and down, pretty much anything you really need to do. So again, uh, one last time, I think he's a really awesome character. Definitely one of my favorites uh, from the vintage line. So if you can get him, I think you would absolutely love him for your collections. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Turtles comparison, here he is standing next to the Vintage Storage Shell Turtles. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. 
So there it is guys, my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Vintage Collection, A Stuck. Now, like I've stated before, I just love this toy. I always thought he was very cool. I loved his wingspan and those egg grenades and a really sweet pistol. I have very fond memories of flying him around and beating up the foot and even flying the turtle blimp. I had so much fun with him and I am proud to have him displayed in my collection even now as an adult. So with all this makes him for one totally tubular action figure. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Cowabunga dudes, and stay nerdy my friends. Peace.